friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hyper mature morganian cataract with a lot of changes in the cortex and epineucleus just in front of the main incision that i am going to make yes just in front of this main incision you can see some specks that look like diamond specks so a lot of degenerative changes have occurred in this case the patient is a 80 years old lady and the patient has lost her fellow eye so one eyed lady with this kind of cataract and i am doing fecal emulsification for this eye many of my colleagues will say better to do sics for this case but i know that in my hands fecal emulsification is safer than SICS in this case. If I need CTR, if I need BHEX, everything is easier with fecal emulsification and not with SICS. However, if any of my colleague feels that in his or in her hands SICS is safer for this patient let him or let her proceed accordingly in this case by this time I have stained the capsule and now I am going to do capsular access at this time I am very careful because the genule may be very weak in such cases and may I may have to apply a capsular tension ring in this case so i am making an making a capsular axis which is not very large which is about 5 mm in size and i have gone very slowly very gently because of only one reason i shouldn't exert any jerky pull and now see what happens when i try to do hydro dissection you can see a layer of white material white flaky material this is degenerated epineucleus and cortex and i'm going to do hydro dissection 360 degree very gently in this case and i'm going to remove this white flaky material first before i apply before i introduce the hand piece into the anterior chamber and now i'm going to use this instrument yes this is a 23g simco i'm going to remove all the white flaky material and this has improved visibility now we can see this is a very hard nucleus this is a very hard brown nucleus which is covered by a white cloth that is the degenerated cortex and epineucleus I am doing hydro dissection again very small amounts of fluid are being injected at multiple points and here it is the nucleus has rotated very nicely and I am very happy but as the nucleus has rotated I can see some more white flaky material just in front of the main incision 
so I am going to use this instrument again this is a 23G Simcoe and I am going to remove this white material again the reason is without removing this if I apply ultrasonic energy this material will run helter skelter and there can be endothelial cell loss because of these movements some more visco to protect the corneal endothelium this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now the tip of the FECO handpiece is being introduced into the anterior chamber and as usual I will try to do direct chop in this case the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator crosses the central area goes towards the opposite equator and in this case I had to exert a real force opposing forces to crack this very hard nucleus but there is a very stubborn posterior plate which didn't give in so I just had to do it somehow you can say DISS do it somehow technique so again the tip is buried to this part of the nucleus and make a good crack and now I am trying to emulsify this part of the nucleus yes this is just like cutting the paddy crops you, know, you just cut whatever portion is superficial from a deeper plane and this is another good crack and I'm going to remove this portion of the nucleus so in this case since the stubborn posterior plate is keeping all the fragments joined at the central area I'm going to use ultrasonic energy to remove the peripheral portion of this hard cataract in this case now I'm using two instruments to rotate this nucleus and place it in such a way that the portion on the left side can be cracked with ultrasonic energy and vacuum so here it is the tip goes again into the anterior chamber I apply some power embed the tip into the substance of the nucleus and make a good crack in this case yes I had to be very powerful I had to use some energy to divide the nuclear pieces so now this fragment which is just in front I'm going to hold this and I'm going to remove it the peripheral portion the central part of this piece is still attached to the central part central stubborn posterior plate and now this is the other part the same technique it is being chopped the lens the nucleus tilts and the part which is over the posterior capsule actually protects the posterior capsule and now it tilts and it has tumbled here I watch that the posterior capsule is quite far which indicates that there is no trampolining 
of the posterior capsule and it will not come to the FECO tip unless there is too much surge. Yes, the cortex, the nuclear material has been removed and in this case I find that there is no cortex. All the cortex and epinucleus has been removed before management of this nucleus. And now this is after injecting some visco this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece intraocular lens and you will be surprised to know that this is a totally free case the patient could not afford a penny the patient has lost one eye the other eye has reached this stage of a hypermature sclerotic cataract means the family cannot afford a penny to get treated somehow the approach touch and we have offered a totally free service to this patient and here it is the lens is in the bag the optic is nicely covered by the anterior capsular rim all around because the rexis was not very large and now at this moment all the viscoelastic substance that was used for implantation of the intraocular lens is being removed by bimanual irrigation aspiration. So this has been a very satisfactory surgery. One eyed patient with so hard cataract and I have been able to do fake emulsification for this case. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now I use BSS to hydrate corneal stroma on either side of these side ports so that these stab wounds closes and they become watertight. And now this is the time for the final lavage of the anterior chamber. I always do this and I get very good result, post-operative result. I don't have any TAS, TASS, toxic anterior segment syndrome in the past 10 years because I strongly believe because of this final lavage of the anterior chamber. So after the final lavage, the anterior chamber is nicely formed and I always prefer a Simco to form the anterior chamber and here you will see in a short time how I form the anterior chamber. Here it is. The Simco is placed at the wound in this way. Just give a forward push and come out without depressing the posterior lip and thus I get a very good anterior chamber. Now all the wounds are checked there should not be any leakage from any side. You can see the main wound there is no wound bar. Thank you very very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to take off challenging cases for fake emulsification but on request. Before you take off these cases, you should have such intuition inside you that you will be able to do the case safely. If that intuition doesn't come, if you don't have that intuition inside you, please go according to your intuition. If it says that you will get very good result by small incision cataract surgery, please do that. Thank you very much for your attention.
please serve your patient with love respect compassion and great surgical skills